I'm Jill Corwin. I'm Head of Transformation Change and Programmes for the County Council. My granddaughter, Evie, she's two and a half. She's in Great Ormond Street Hospital. She's been there and also Evelina's, another London Children's Hospital, since the beginning of May. And she won't leave there until she gets a new heart. I think with, with your children and your grandchildren, the one thing you, you want more than anything is for them to be healthy and, and lead active and fulfilled lives. And you almost take it for granted. We've no history of any serious illness or anything in our family. So, um, and this isn't a condition that Evie was, was born with. Um, it was something that transpired shortly after her second birthday um, when she um, had heart failure and was, was diagnosed with something called dilated myocardiopathy. And it, it, it's, it's, it's that real shock of something that you hold so precious suddenly being really threatened that actually it, it could be she could be taken away from us and you it, it just throws your life in into complete turmoil and it makes you realize what's important in life obviously but it also made us as a family think so much more about organ donation. So my husband and I, we've, we, we signed up as, as, as donors quite a long time ago. And, and I can remember us having the conversation, at that point our children were younger, and I can remember us having the conversation of sort of almost patting ourselves on the back, yes, we've signed up, job done. We made sure you know, we were really clear about our wishes. We spoke to our children so they knew you know, what our wishes were. We thought we'd done it. Never in a million years did we consider our children as being potential organ donors because you, you, don't, you just don't go there, you don't think about it. Yet that is, is, is the awful starkness of the situation that we have, that in order for our granddaughter to live, another family has to take that, that massively brave decision that they're, you know, they lose, they lose a child and to be able to kind of say yes and we want part of them to live on, you know, we're, we're happy for their organs to live at the most traumatic, awful time you can ever imagine. And so it's made us and, you know, our, our wider family and friends sort of think about that and think about having those conversations about children's organ donation when your children are, are fit and healthy and you can have that in a less emotional way. You hear stories of people who do do it, it's incredibly brave, but that's the thing for us. It's made us think so much more about kind of our own mortality and, and also appreciate the fantastic work that the NHS does because the care that, that Evie's getting in Great Ormond Street is, is absolutely incredible. I, I would say there are the, the organ donation register people, they have a helpline, they have web chat and things like that. So if you've got any anxieties, there are professionals um, there whom you can talk to. But my experience, and, and this is in, in the context of children, I had no idea how many children were waiting for organs. It's not something that you see too much about. Yes, there was um, a, a program recently about Great Auburn Street, but it's not something that you, you hear about an awful lot. So Eve is in a little bay on a ward with four other children with Berlin hearts, mechanical hearts that's keeping their, their hearts going um, and they won't leave there, any of them, until they have a heart transplant.